Now, I know I make a lot of glitch videos, but did you know that I also make and play creative maps? If you didn't, then you have a couple of videos to watch. By now, you should already know that anyone who has a creator code can publish creative maps. Well, I just got my code changed, so if you want to be one of the first ever people to use code CAPT in the item shop, you better do it quick. Oh, too late, I just supported myself. Today, I'll be publishing and beating the first ever creative parkour map I built, which was over four years ago now, and it's almost impossible. It's filled with secret paths and ways of beating the hard levels. If you would like to play it, the code is on screen, in the description, the comments section, everywhere. It's basically everywhere. Let's get right into it. All right, everybody, we're in Fortnite Creative right now, and this is the map right here. The OG Fortnite Death Run by CPT Kung Fu. Who's that? Sounds like a really cool guy. Anyways, the description reads... A so as you can see, it's a death run. The difficulty is hard. There are quite a few difficult levels, and if you are not experienced in this, you might have a little bit of trouble, but luckily there's many ways of completing different levels, so hopefully you'll find a way that works for you all right here we are this is the map right here filled with crazy secrets and stuff now i'm just gonna beat it legit just so you know that all of the main levels can be completed legit so all the secret ways of beating each level i'm gonna keep them a secret for you guys to find all right so let's get right into level one right here this is it okay i don't know about you guys but this is looking super easy i mean i did create this death run but i mean still look at this come on no problem can you even die to traps yes you can all right i don't know why i tested that out it just felt like some of the traps weren't activating but uh we don't talk about it oh my god no 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 okay listen listen i can be level one of my own map okay it's no problem i no i'm not trying rash all right so basically level one is very very easy you just jump to this edited pyramid right here over to this wall over to this and then you come along this beam and now this is the hardest jump of the level it basically it's just a strafe jump from this metal piece to the top of that sign right there all right this is the moment the moment you've all been waiting for will i be able to make the hardest jump of this entire map Yes! Oh my god! That's literally my first try doing it. Okay, if you want to know how to do that, that's how you do it right there. Rewind. No one has ever done that! Alright, so the next jump you need to do after you make it onto this platform from the sign is onto the staircase. But I was a little bit cheeky here, and I put a trap on the wall that will get you if when you jump, you don't immediately hug the wall. So we're on to the next checkpoint. I don't exactly call this level 2. What I do call this is a midsection. It's basically an in-between level between the two main levels. And if you're wondering, this right here is a secret way of beating level 1. So if you were to have found how to access this area here you could have beaten level one this way and it would have brought you to the same spot all right so i've skipped ahead a little bit because i want to make sure that you guys didn't see what i just did because this midsection here actually involves a little bit of guesswork and i didn't want to take that away from you guys if you watch this and decide to play the map you might not get trolled so i want to save some of the best trolls for you guys to discover so you just got to hit the bouncer hit the left side of the launch pad and that is it now i've made it to this location here if you don't recognize it it's because it's actually a secret way of beating this next level and if you don't find the way then obviously you won't find this the other way of doing it is super easy you should have no problem it's with a chiller so it's really straightforward all right all right all right don't worry guys don't worry i got this see you do this boom bam bop Look at that. Ba -da -ba -ba -boom. Boom. Hit this one. And guess what? Pow. You go right into this hole right here. Perfect. So now if you're not good at trap baiting, then you might have some trouble on this map because there's quite a lot of that. But you got some floor traps to bait. They're really, really simple. You just, you know, you go around and you do this awesome stuff. And then finally, you drop down to level two. If you do take this method, then make sure to look behind you. There's a chest. You're going to want to grab it. There's a couple of med kits in here. On this next level, you're probably going to need them because you just basically drop down and don't fall off the metal. At some points, you will take fall damage like here. That's what the med kits are for. If you just take a lot of fall damage, I don't actually want you to die. 
uh, or maybe I do. Yeah, so then after that, you just come here and you hit all these boost pads and it'll bring you on to level three, I believe. All right, that's the first jump of level three. Let's see if I can make the second. Let's go. All right, this is the last jump of level three, but I honestly think it's one of the hardest and I first tried it. No, there's one more jump. No, what? How are you even supposed to do this? Nope. All right, I died. <laughs> oh, all right, I'm on the last jump. If I actually do this, I, I, I don't even know. Oh my God. No way, no way, no way. Come on, come on, hit that checkpoint. Let's go go i'm insane all right well this part here it's actually pretty straightforward it's just a midsection super simple just some jumps here the hardest jump is just this one but it's even this is not that bad as you can see i just first tried it that's it this next level here is going to be a turn off for so many people it's a room of only bouncers and traps now you can tell that this is just something you're gonna hate because the only way out of this level is through this tiny hole here now i'm going to show you how to do this but it is not fun and even once you do that it's not the end of the level you still got to do this chiller boost pad thing so get that on your first try because it's gonna suck otherwise oh my god yes i finally got it look at the time now and compare it to what the time was when i first entered this level that's how many minutes it took me to get it once all right now let's hope i don't mess this part up because it's super easy to mess up and if you mess up you got to do the bouncer room all over again all right let's go let's do this let's go come on beat the level no no okay that sucks Yes! Oh my god. Alright, I got it a second time. This time a lot faster. Please just let me get this. Yes! Oh my god. We beat level... I don't even know. That wasn't even a level. It was a midsection. We're on to level 4 now. Oh my god. Alright, now that that's behind us, because I'm not going to lie to you, I made this map and that bouncer level is BS. But now we're on to bigger and better things. Level 4, I actually do enjoy this level. It requires some skill, some timing, all that good stuff. And it's pretty easy. Basically, you can even skip a bunch of the stuff just by baiting these floor traps. Anyways, if you just follow my lead, you can beat this level no problems. So once you make it to this staircase you got to make sure to bait this trap on the wall just like that so that you can safely make this jump to the platform here and then continue on to this beam right in front of you Bruh. all right i definitely didn't die on that super easy jump there so continue on to this beam right in front of you now you don't want to go too far onto the left side of it because there is a trap on that wall that will get you so from here you just want to make a long jump over to this beam and then this is basically the final jump here you have to come from here across this bouncer to that platform there let's see if we can do it first try it's a bit of a strafe jump but we managed to do it now watch out for this bouncer here because if you hit it it will shoot you into like the traps and and, I mean, you don't want that. So then right over this edge, you will make it to level five. Now I'll tell you right now that there is one secret way of beating this level. And I honestly don't know if it's easier or harder than the actual level itself. In my opinion, this is the hardest level of the entire map. And I'll show you exactly why. So basically you gotta make a full platform jump all the way to here. Now that's not so bad. What is bad is this jump right here. You gotta go from this railing all the way to that platform. It's a long jump. Let's see if I can do this. Ugh. And dead. <laughs> All right, before I go any further, let's just do a death compilation of how many times I'm going to die on this level here. Oh, too nice. Too. Oh my god, I actually finally made it after all those deaths. Well, now we're on to level 6, which is so much easier. I honestly will admit that level 5 is probably the most difficult level of the entire map. So if you can beat that, you're good to go. 
two hours later. Okay, so I actually had to step away for a while, and now I only have what a half hour do? left to beat the rest of this map. So I'm going to try and speed run through this. Okay, so level six. Basically, you hit the speed pad, you go through a few doors, be careful. But guess what? There's a bunch of parts to level six, and you can't die on any of them. Ooh, so jump over things, jump over this, don't get hit by that. Go through the door, and guess what? You've made it past two of the four parts of this level. All right, so part three, like I said, you hit the bouncer, you land on the chiller, you hit the boost, and then you go nuts. Now, there's a little tough spot at the end. You just got to crouch underneath it, and guess what? That's part three. Quickly, we got to move on to part four. It's pretty easy. You just go up the jump, and then you jump again, you hit the bouncer, you land on the checkpoint, and that is level six. All right, so now this isn't level seven. This is like a midsection, so basically, it's just some classic trap baiting. I'm a trap baiting god. It's too easy. Look at that. I'm literally nuts. Can you even get better at trap baiting? I'm literally the best. Like, I don't think you can even, like, I'm just nuts. I'm, that's all I can say. That's just all I can say. Hit the bouncer. Hit the, oh, shoot. Okay, let's get the bouncy bounce part done. It's actually very, very easy. I don't know why I'm having such a difficult time. You just want to hit the top of the bouncer. Then just hit this one. And guess what? You beat it. I have 22 minutes to beat this map. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Oh yeah, this is the one. We for sure made it. Let's go. I swear, if I die this time, I'm just deleting this map entirely. No one can play it. All right, please let me hit a bouncer this time. There we go. This is how you do it. And then finally, what you gotta do is land here and then just walk off, hit this bouncer and land on the checkpoint. All right, well, I actually don't have a number here for this level, I don't think, but this is level like nine. I don't even know what we're at, seven, something like that. It's a grappler level anyways. So just become Spider-Man, spider slumber. Just be like me and, you know, go grapply splaply on these things. And uh, other than that, it's a pretty straightforward level. Easy. Simple. All right, so you go to the one on the left, then the one on the right, and then the one on the left, and then you gotta hit the checkpoint one, and I think we got it. No! Oh my god, let's go! Oh my god, that was so close. Thank goodness I had that extra grapple. Anyways, everybody, from here, you gotta take a leap of faith into the pit of doom and just land on the bouncer in the middle. All right, so we got ice, and we got traps, and we got electrocuty thingies. It's pretty fun. So you just wanna try and make it up here. I'm not doing that so well, but thank goodness that thing gave me a boost. Because otherwise I would not have made that. And then other than that, you just cut across here, avoid the traps, you don't want to bait them, they're pretty annoying. And once you make it around here, you got a trap up there, so be careful. And you just got to make it up this ice by doing that, and you are on to the present maze. So from here, I'm actually going to skip this, because I don't want to show you the way, I want you to figure it out for yourself, because this level is actually really fun, there's three stages to it. And uh, I want to see how long it takes you guys to solve the present maze. All right, everyone, and just like that, we are on to the next level. Oh, so this is level 9. I don't know what all those other levels were, but we're on level 9 now, and this one is a little bit complicated. It's just a bunch of parkour, really, and I died. Come on, summon the power of pro gamer. Yes, let's go. Okay, I just have this last part to do, and honestly, I'm scared. I'm probably gonna mess it up somehow. Oh my god, no, we did it. All right, I have, like, three more levels to do, and ten minutes left. I have no time to waste. Okay, so basically, this is level ten, and yeah, it's basically launch pads and a lot of momentum. You could cheese this level in about 18 different ways, so as long as you beat it, it's okay. Nah, nah, it's all good. I'm gonna cheese it, all right, guys? I'm gonna cheese my own map. I'm the creator. I'm allowed. So I'm just gonna land back here, hit this bouncer, and die. All right, hit the bouncer. Please land on the launch pad. Look towards the middle, and we should make it. Let's go. All right, guess what, guys? We got another grappler level, except now we got impulse grenades. Boom. So you just gotta impulse yourself to the things, and, you know, you just, you just grapple your way up. It's super easy. And then this last part, it's even easier. You just drop down, and you grapple onto the staircase, and literally that's the level. All right, once you do that, you are on to the final level. I have six minutes to beat this. So essentially, it's just a trap baiting level. You gotta be careful because there's, like, ceiling traps everywhere. I kind of went crazy with that. And I have a couple of secret traps, too. It's pretty annoying, but hopefully you'll do pretty well in it. You can do it, guys. This is it. The last jump, the leap of faith. 
We did it! Let's go! Beat the level on my second try, and this is the GG room right here. Oh my god, that was nuts. I have literally five minutes left to do this. Hey, thanks for making it this far into the video. Comment your trash down below if you'd like to get a heart from me. Make sure to stay tuned for more insane videos. Later!